So if y'all check it out, I got some hauls to share with you guys. Some discount store goodness. You know, I gotta say, discount stores can be dangerous. If you follow the hauls, <laughs> it's almost like I, I get more stuff at discount stores than, you know, not. Uh, and that includes, you know, Amazon and, and eBay, you know, not just like Walmart's Target, stuff like that. You know, because you find all this good stuff for cheap prices. So, you know, lately, I feel like every time I hit these discount stores, I'm coming home with, with a, some bags of stuff. Anyway, so, got some stuff from TJ Maxx and DD's discounts, but I got a couple other things. Um, first of all, uh, Meg Myers CD. So, that's one of those little known things, you, you know, might not know. Huge Meg Myers fan. You know, if you're watching this, yeah, you, know, you you probably mostly come from my toy videos, um, but you know I'm just as passionate about music as I am toys. You know, it's just that it's not really something I collect, so I don't have much to show that often. Um, this was actually my Father's Day gift this year. Now I chose this. My wife told me earlier in the week before Father's Day, she's like, "Okay, go order yourself something off of Amazon." You know, no limit. You know, use your own discretion. And historically, over the past few years, for Father's Day and for my birthday, I usually get a Lego set, you know? Because if you, if, you, if you really know, you notice as much as you might know that I love Lego. If you, again, if you follow the halls, you might notice that I don't get Lego much. And there's always a bunch of sets I want, but Lego is just expensive. So... I usually, you know, usually for Father's Day and and or my birthday, I get a new Lego set like one I've really been wanting. You know, one that's you know not not really small but not super big either. So anyway, this year, you know, she she gave me the choice again, and yeah, I could have used it as an opportunity to get a Lego set I've been wanting or a figure something on the pricier end that I've just been holding off on, but. You know, I was like, I wasn't going to take advantage of the situation this time, you know? My wife does a lot for our family, you know? And I can get my own toys, you know? Can't say I, I you know, I, I, I don't earn a lot of money. If you know, you know, I'm a stay-at-home dad. I, I basically just make what I, what I get off of selling my collections on eBay. Um, but, you know, it's, it's enough that... You know, I can I can pay for some of the gas and help out a little here and there and, and get stuff that I want. Anyway, this is something I've been wanting for a long time. It's been out for a couple of years. I've had her previous uh, two EPs that, you know, for whatever reason, I just, I held off on getting her CD. Her, this is actually technically her debut album, even though she has two previous CDs. They're just EPs. And it's ironic because she actually has her real, her newest album coming out like next month. So anyway, I knew regardless of price, she'd want me to get something I really wanted. And so like I said, huge Meg Myers fan. Finally got her CD. Got some great tracks on there. Uh, a few from the EPs and, and some new songs. So anyway, there's that. Oh, and one other thing before the discount store goodness. Uh, I've been looking into, I want to say, alternatives to energy drinks. When I say energy drinks, you know, I'm referring to the, the, the typical stuff like Monster Energy, Red Bull, stuff like that. I have pretty much sworn those off for years. Like, I would just, you know, I drink a lot of soda and, yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. Um, but I've also been, you know, I could really use, you know, energy but, you know, I just, I definitely swore those off. Um, they're just bad, all kinds of bad. I'm not going to get into a discussion about it. But, so I recently discovered there's kind of, I don't want to say the word healthier forms of energy drinks. Um, but I discovered the stuff called Zip Fizz, actually from, at Costco. And then I, but they only sell them in, in like cases at Costco. So I want to try them out, like just sample them. I got some at this, there's a nearby uh, vitamin shop. Uh, and then the guy also told me about this stuff, bang. So this is a, this is a soda. 
I think that's what you can call it. Um, potent brain and body fuel. Uh, so I'm not going to be the best to explain. Um, if you want, you can you can read that. Um, but basically, it's it's healthy energy. I mean, it has caffeine. But there's none of the bad stuff. There's actually even no sugar, if I'm not mistaken. Zero sugar. Um, it's got super creat it's super creatine ultra. Yeah, I don't know what that is. BCAA aminos. I don't know what all that stuff is. You know, like I said, the guy just explained to me, you know, uh, why these are like healthy energy and stuff, and you know that that they'd be good good alternative. So you know, I, I tried them out actually. These are, these are, I'm trying new flavors. I tried one previously, cherry, black cherry vanilla. I liked it. So I want to try a couple more. If I, if I really like it and I feel like it works for me, I'll, I'll buy some, like, uh, some cases for them. And, uh, one, real quick, going back to Meg Myers, if you, I don't know if you can hear the, the music in the background. That actually is, uh, Meg Myers. I got her playing on my Spotify, so. And now let's get into this discount store goodness. Check this out. WWE Elite NXT Finn Balor $7.99 Yeah um, Some more WWE goodness uh, So up till now I have totally held off on these retro Hasbro style figures even though there's been some cool ones, especially Goldberg, who's my all-time favorite wrestler, but I just felt like, yeah, I don't want to... Yeah, but I'm always going to give in eventually. If it's something I'm into, you know, it's not like, oh, I was going to give in if these were, I don't know, some random, uh, like, property that I'm into, but being a big WWE fan, you know, and having grown up on those those Hasbro ones, it was only a matter of time, and, you know... That's that's what put me over the edge. Four ninety nine for these, and this whole wave is like classic, classic uh, superstars. Um, so there's the Rock and classic Triple H right there. Again, four ninety nine. So fuck it, <laughs> why not? Um, and then another thing I I kind of caved on that. Uh, so I. I, I sold my entire 4-inch Marvel Universe collection because, you know, I mostly, my main focus on action figures is 6-inch with the exception of some things that I've collected for many years like G.I. Joe, Star Wars, uh, and some other stuff in the 4-inch scale. Now, another exception being, even though I sold my whole 4-inch Marvel Universe collection, that was excluding any of the the four inch movie ones so i still have those uh and i decided you know what for 7.99 you know all it's all older ones that i mostly have from the four inch uh like mcu figures and stuff but i'm like you know what might as well add this and i think there was a thor one maybe um if i catch that at discount eventually i'll grab that but you know 7.99 not bad to add to the the four inch Marvel collection, and the reason I decided to keep the four-inch stuff, um, or the four-inch movie stuff, as opposed to the the regular Marvel Universe comic stuff, is they kind of because it's the movie stuff and that has a more you know uh, realistic take uh, to the characters. It kind of works with a lot of my four-inch stuff, especially like the GI Joe, you know. So it can kind of mix in that universe, and yeah. That's just how I roll. And then found another one of those uh, Loyal Subjects Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Action Vinyls Blind Packs for $3.99. So here's hoping I get another character that I haven't already gotten. And then at DD's Dee Discounts. I love DD's Dee Discounts. I remember when I first moved to Vegas for a long time, I did not know there was DD's Dee Discounts here. And I, I don't know if I've said it before here on YouTube, um, and no offense, offense to any of my friends and family in San Diego, there's not a lot I actually miss about San Diego. I mean, like, really miss, you know, like, daily, like, oh, I, I wish, I wish I was back in San Diego for this. Um, 
So with that said, one of the things I do miss, well, you know, I'm going to say the main things I miss, good Mexican food and the stores. I mean, you know, stores okay here, but man, toy hunting in San Diego, it was a lot better. There's just a lot more stuff like all the time. Uh, anyway, I was so happy to f find out that we did in fact have Dee Dee's discounts here. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, so before I get into those, got this for my daughter, um, Summer. She's she loves Peppa Pig. It's one of her most favorites. And again, you know, I mentioned it. You know, I don't spoil her. We don't just give her everything. You know, she wants, or even much of what she asked for and wants. But once in a while, and she didn't even ask for this. I saw it. I knew she'd like it. You know, I got it for the cup, but yeah, there's jelly beans in there. I'll give those to her little by little. Anyway, some Mega Blocks goodness. It's that uh, police cruiser standoff, the NMPD. I always love the NMPD stuff. Even though I don't really play the games, you know, just, just to have police stuff in the Halo universe. That's pretty cool. $7.99 for that. And I've been seeing this at DD's and Ross and all those stores many, many times. I decided I'll finally pull the trigger. $9.99. And you know why I decided to pull the trigger? Finally. Because this thing is pretty damn cool. And there's another one. I don't play Call of Duty. And whatever this Wraith is, I'm assuming it's some sort of attack drone. That thing's cool, but I, I, I was look, taking a closer look and like... Dude, these dudes right here look bad effing ass. Like, these are some real badass soldier dudes right there. This guy's got some sort of helmet with a, like, a, a display. And then this dude dual-wielding those pistols. And these are in the, I'm assuming, what is this, Advance? I forget which, not the latest, but the previous... Anyway, Advanced Warfighter or something like that. So it's in the near future. I love that. Love that. So, you know, 10 bucks, even though it's mainly for these two badasses right there. But this thing is pretty damn cool, too. Let's let's be honest here. That almost looks like it can be in the Terminator universe. Especially the the Salvation universe. I don't know, some people don't like Salvation. I liked it. I actually I also like Genesis. So... There you have it. That is my haulage. Toy goodness. I can't, I can't, I can't fucking stop, man. I just, I should, I should, but I can't. I really can't. Oh, and guess what, BC? Boom! Check it out, it's dinner time. Check it out, it's dinner time. Check it out, check it out. Check it out, it's dinner time. <laughs> yeah, I got some food from Taco Bell. You know what? It's funny, I just mentioned missing really good Mexican food. And I'm showing I got Taco Bell. Yeah, we have Mexican, real Mexican food joints here. That, I mean, not as good as San Diego, but I still love me some Taco Bell. If you if you like meaty, cheesy food and you don't like Taco Bell, yeah, you ain't right. So, I mean, I'm not going to get into too into detail here. I got a, a quesadillas, one of those mini quesadillas. Got a couple crunchy tacos. Um, just so that you see some actual food. There you go. Crunchy taco goodness. Um, and a, uh, what is this? Crunch Wrap Supreme. Which is kind of pointless to showing because you, you can't see anything. It's like, yeah. It's kind of like a taco and a wrap. Plus some, some cinnamon twists. And an apple empanada, which is actually like a, a fried apple pie. Fried apple pie, goodness. Oh, oh, those cinnamon twists. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and have some of that. I don't know if you can hear that crunching. That's good stuff. There you have it, boom. Thanks for watching.